Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we'll be discussing about the data dictionary in the Oracle database. You may be wondering that why am I using the same shirt for different different videos? Due to this coronavirus, I'm not getting the opportunity to go outside, to enjoy with my friend, to eat chicken. I am totally sitting in my home, back to in my hometown from last two months only. But I will not stop creating the videos and to share the knowledge with all of you. I know uh, because of most of the people are working from home, they are getting a lot of time. So this is a golden opportunity for all of you to learn more and more things. So I'm also doing the same thing. I am learning and whatever the knowledge I'm getting, I'm trying to share with all of you. I have already wasted your very valuable time by telling my bullshit stuff. But now I'll be telling you about this Oracle dictionary table, data dictionary table. So what is this about? Data dictionary table is just like the metadata information, which will, uh, which will store your metadata information. So what is this metadata? Most of the time the people ask me, what is this metadata? So let me tell you one simple example. So let's say uh, I have a lot of money. The people are thinking that I have a lot of money, but that is not a fact. So I have money, I have money in my pocket. But if you want to know about how much money I am having in my pocket, you can ask to my wife because she is the metadata of my money. So you can ask her how much money Ankush is having. So she will tell you about the amount of money which is which I am owning right now but does she really having the money the, because no she don't have the money she is having only the information about my money so who is having the money I am having the money so the actual data is stored inside the oracle data oracle table okay so actual table but if you want to know about uh, the table structure Let's say how many columns are there, what are their data types, all the stuffs you can get it from the Oracle metadata information that we call it as a data dictionary table. Okay, so let me take one real time example to understand this concept. You may have heard about V$ database. What is this table about? This is not a table actually, this is one view. Okay, so this view will help you to check the name of your database, the database ID, the database status, whether it is up and running or not, whether it is shut down, all the stuff you can get it by using this V$ database. So if I'm just giving the example, select name comma open underscore mode from V$ database. So by firing this command, you'll come to know whether your database is up and running or not and what is the name of your database because we have selected two columns. So this is all about the V$ database. Now this V$ database, did we create this database? Did we create this V$ database view? No, I don't create it. So who created? This view, this view has been created automatically when we do the Oracle database installation. So who is the owner of this data dictionary table? Just like V$ database, sys use the user, okay? So the Oracle says, Actually, they have their own tables. See, just like, you know, Oracle table. Okay. Oracle have created their own table, but they don't want us to access to their Oracle table directly. Okay. So what they have done, they have created a view for us. So the normal people like me, they can, uh, not the normal people, I'm a sys user. Okay. So by using the sys user, I'm having the privileges to access to their metadata table just like V$ database to check the database status. Let's say being a Oracle DBA, you want to create one user. There is one person he is joining with you as a Oracle DBA. So what are you doing? You are creating his user by using the command like create user username identified by password. Okay. So by using this uh, query, you have created your user. Now, if you want to check whether the user has been created or not, you can just use the view that we call it as a DBA underscore users. Do you have created this DBA underscore users view? No, it has been created by the Oracle only at the time of Oracle installation. So you'll get it automatically. And by using this view, you'll come to know whether the users has been created or not. This is also one of the data dictionary table. Now the next question you'll ask me how many we have a data dictionary views so i can tell you that including oracle 11c and 12c i think there are around 1200 views are there 
or maybe more than that. So how and what are the types of these data dictionary views? These data dictionary views can be divided into the four parts. The first view is static view, dynamic view, global dynamic view and undocumented view. Now let's try to understand about the static views. If I want to take you one example about the static view then that is users underscore table. So what will happen if you are adding one more column so that you are changing the metadata right that is called static underscore views. Now let's talk about the dynamic view. If I want to give the example of dynamic view then I can tell it as parameter v dollar parameter. You know when you are starting your Oracle database at the time itself you can change your parameter. We have a parameter file, ESP file and P file where you can change your parameter. So the time when you want to start the database if you want to pick up that parameter you can change it right. That parameter we call it as a dynamic parameter or dynamic view. Third data dictionary view is your global dynamic view. So what is this about? Did you heard about the RAG databases which is mainly useful for high availability so if we are one of the instance goes down still you have another instance through which your database will be always up and running now what is the use of this global dynamic view if you heard uh, if you get the chance to work with the rack environment you may have used gv dollar parameter that is gv that gv is belonging to the global dynamic view and the last one is undocumented view so what is this about there are a lot of views which are undocumented by the oracle maybe the oracle don't want to show you about this parameter because of some security concern or it may be that this kind of uh, table this kind of view which will not be useful for you being as a oracle dba so this is all about the data dictionary view in the oracle database i hope you like the video i know you will definitely like it so thank you so much for watching this video and if you are looking for real time database training definitely you can contact me all the details related to my contact you can get it into the description section and before i proceed for the next video i want you to please do like subscribe and share this channel with everyone because everyone wants to become a oracle dba Dinbar, bye bye see you again with the next video